Good morning, everyone. Welcome, welcome to Natique here in Elk Grove, California, and NatiqueYards.com coming to you live on Friday. For those of you who have um, are participating in the Have a Ball Fall Crawl, it started this morning. It is not too late to join. You can still join and you will get recordings of the videos this day. We've had a lot of questions about not getting the emails. The email that it is coming from the invitation is haveaballfallcrawl at gmail.com. Search that. Everyone's finding it in their spam. It was sent out earlier this week. So double check that. that. And if you can't find it, message um, on the website, have a ball fall crawl, and they'll be able to help you. So we can't wait to see everyone tomorrow. We have been working hard. Karen is tweaking everything. We've spent a lot of time on this one. So we are so excited to participate in that. So hello, hello, everyone. All right. We're just going to jump in because we have a lot to do today. We're going to talk about our grand prize. You guys know two times every month we give away a grand prize. This one is valued at more than $100. We have our exclusive white burlap bag that is um, machine washable gentle cycle from Natique. Um, we did actually do these for the platinum swag bag originally for the Casa Pinka event. But this prize, you are getting one full skein of Noro Suido and four little mini skeins as well as the pattern for the boys or not. Everything that you can see for the grand prize if you don't want to wait and you want to win ahead of time is you can order it all online and participate uh, and get your goods then. So I'm going to pop this back in. How you get entered into this, every time you make a purchase, uh, three different ways. On our website, natiqueyarns.com. In our store, we're located in Elk Grove, California, or you can come into our boutique. Uh, we are open 11 to 5, Tuesday through Saturday. We are going to do the drawing live. Anna and Susan will be doing it on Saturday, October 1st. Before I go to the daily prize, um, show them Karen's new display. There's two of them. We're going to show you guys both. This is one right here. She knit the dress, knit the hat. So this is now she is a witch. So cute. She makes costumes for the babies now and wigs and all that jazz. And then you have to go outside. Yeah, because we have a night in the window. We have a night. Mm hmm Good morning, good morning, everyone. Okay, so let me go find our valiant knight with his sword and shield. And she knitted his chain mail outfit. And then there is the cute little gold crown. And then he's got his princess that he's protecting. I love her displays. They're so cute. All right. So is that just the cutest thing? Sandy, I saw you when I pulled up. Uh, I wasn't waving frantically. I was trying to get your attention as you were sitting there. And she knew, you knew how I was, and you didn't even wave, Sandy. I knew you saw me. But hopefully your breakfast was delicious. All right, for our daily prize we have this is a oldie but a goodie um this is monsoon on the lake one of my favorite patterns that i designed and we have it with one skein of uh jojo land melody 
it is a fingering weight self striping yarn so just to show you guys this is monsoon on the lake look at how pretty this is this is out of my the alpaca that I love, the royal alpaca. So beautiful. You want to tell them a little bit about the pattern? So this pattern has a little rickrack lace section on either side of a left-leaning cable. It's a two-by-two two cable, nice and easy. If you've never done cables, this is a good first cable project. And the rickrack lace is just either a yarn over and an two together or a yarn over and an SSK. Nothing crazy on that one. And we've paired it with this cute little skein of fingering weight yarn that is self striping. So you're going to get these little shifts in color as you work through the project. All right, this door does look. Oh, you're going to show them the dress that she brought in. Right, it's super cute. It matches the um, Greek Isles perfectly. Karen, I kind of need you to go clothes shopping for me because the mannequins are very well dressed. <laughs> A little jealous, I could steal this dress. And that shawl is one skein of Greek Isles in the Silk Daydream. This is the Storm Shawl. All right, so how you get entered into the daily price, you guys know the best thing is you can react to the video right over here every time you post a reaction this is throughout the video so if you were showing you something that you love you can react you're gonna get one entry for every reaction if you comment uh, which is so nice we love the exchange you are gonna get five entries for every reaction and the quickest way to get a bunch is to share look this changed too yeah i'm thinking facebook updated something and that's what is causing weird the consternation so oh here that's why hold on let me switch it only works for you there's such irony that my personal page doesn't show up it's because i'm logged in on this computer oh yeah it's fine okay so we can share now we can share to your stories you do have to pop back in hi eileen Hey, Debbie. Hi, Juan. Juan, I brought one of the sweaters you knit for me today. And share yes. it to my friends. You're going to get 11 entries for every um, share that you do. So, how it works, we've taken yesterday's uh, everything for reactions, comments, and shares, and it goes into this random generator, which we have finally figured out how to make that a lot easier than it was. We used to have to do it all individually. Now it's so much quicker it's after two years. Borderline automatic now. Yes. So here we go. Let's see who's going to be the lucky winner of this prize. Roxanne, Roxanne, this is a good one for you because I love the green. And she will whip that out in a minute. Yeah, she can use it for her <laughs> boutique that she sells things at. So congratulations. Joanne, so nice to see you. Good morning, Lisa. Hi, Lynn. Hi, Napoli. Good morning, Eileen. Hi, Denise. There's so many people. I love it, love it, love it. Okay, so let me put this down. Roxanne is the, the gal. So, Roxanne, you are local, so you will most likely stop by the boutique anytime Tuesday through Saturday from 11 to 5 and say, I have a prize here. Can I pick it up, please? It's perfect. It's perfect for you, Roxanne. And then we'll hand it on over. And for those of you who have won lately who are not local, the next time you place an order at natiqueyarns.com, just put a note in the notes section when you place your order saying you have a prize, and that reminds us to go check grab that and pack it all up oh together God. and send it on its merry way. Even like there's a little cat yeah. stuck there. Ooh, oh, not anymore. Let me put it back on. <laughs> there we go. So cute. 
Karen above and beyond, honestly, all the time. It's a surprise. All right, we are, have something to show you guys. It is a brand new watercolor sock yarn. Um, here's what I love about it. It's on a cone. So if you're a machine knitter, you almost could just do multiple projects with this already coned. But it is going to give you, if you actually want to do socks out of it, it is going to give you a totally matching pair. And here's what's nice about this one. Look how tall the socks are. So you can do a man size, you can do a women's size. You can use this for shawls very easily. So um, there is going to be a spot that I believe is colored so that you'll be able to tell which is the difference uh, between sock one and sock two. But this is uh, new to the boutique, the Lane du Nord. It is a French line uh, made in Italy. I think this would be beautiful on a shawl, too. Oh, it would be gorgeous. Mm -hmm. It is a 75% wool, 25% nylon. That is a true sock yarn because the nylon makes the fiber very strong so that your toes and toenails don't break through the fabric. That is a very important detail for some of us. Mm -hmm. I mean, you could do multiple skeins and make a really cute sweater is one of the things that we're talking about. So it's really interesting to see. This is uh, color number 101. That is what's actually used for this pair of socks. I love knitting socks when I travel because it's a lot of knitting in a small project and most of it is very easy. This is, um, I believe it's top down. It's a top down in the round with a short row. Well, it's got a different um, heel than what I normally do, but I like it. It is a short row. Yeah, because then I noticed I was looking at the toes this morning and it looks like they did a decrease that was like decrease every row. Like there's mm -hmm. no knit it's row in between. It's a very fast decrease. So top down, short row heel, and a quick decrease. You can use it for any of the patterns, but I love a cone yarn. It is so nice to work with. Uh, some details about it. Um, it is um, sheep friendly, so there's no mule sing. It The paper is recycled, 458 yards per skein. What does this one say? I can't read that. Which one? The, the flower. yellow flower? Um, well, it's not in English, so... It's good, whatever it is. Maybe it's not... Um... Something... I can't read it either. Onco Tech It's standard? so new that we don't even know what it is. It is a machine washable lay flat to dry. Honestly, I'd put it in the washing, the dryer on low, even though it doesn't say it because it's, uh, well, it's not super washed at that. Well, I don't know. Well, here's the thing. We'll sound. We'll wash one of these in my yeah. washer and stick it in the dryer and then we'll see. That's a good idea because if we wash one, we can see the difference mm -hmm. between before and after. But I love that it's 75% mule sing wool with chloro-free treatment. I swear they come up with new things all the time. I'm like, I don't know what that means. The price is under $25. You can easily use this for a sweater. Like I said, two or three will make a perfect sweater for most people. Um, oh, Bev says she loves yarn on cones because then you can use the cones for decorations. Everly likes to yell through them. Like, oh, like a megaphone. Megaphones. Yeah. It's better than her having an actual megaphone. This is true. <laughs> this she can is already true. project. She does not need help. Let me see if I can, because the cones and the other are so different. So this is color 101, which is the color you see in the socks. So you've got kind of a pretty, like, deep water blue. 
to a corn flour to a powder that then starts to blend with this olivey green into more of a spruce wow, this to is a dark so teal and then new. back up again. Very, very red now. Ooh, that's a horrible picture. It, they're too tiny. Yeah, I'll keep looking. Because I'm like, I want to see the knit sock for everything. Yeah, it's like there's a picture on the cone, but that's teeny tiny too. I wonder if like Susan may have found it. I'm sure she did. What color are you on now? This is 101. Okay. This is the socks. In a square. So we already know that one. That looks like yep, it. We know what that one Much, looks like. It's darker in person. And they started at a different area. Because the green's on the top. This one, maybe they did toe up. Are we sure these socks are only one yeah. cone? Mm-hmm. That's what it said. All right, let's pick another color. Let's do this one, because this is fun. Oh, Susan said go on our website. The picture will show bigger. You're so amazing. This one is color 100. It is kind of like half the rainbow because you have your sunshine, sunflower yellow, spring and emerald green, kind of a turquoise aqua, and a little bit of violet. Here it is right here. So cute. Easter. Uh, that gal's kids' clothing and fingering weight would be really cute. Uh, Helen Joyce yeah. is by her. I was trying to think of mm -hmm. the designer name. Yeah, cause the I'm just excited I pulled a pattern name out of my head. Because the beauty dress is by her. Mm -hmm. You know what's funny? I can, I can literally can picture, picture what her name is. And I can picture the project. I just can't not you pull it out of the get it out. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. But look how cute this one is. I mean, I think it's oh so cute. With the yellow, something really sweet for a little girl. I wonder if Susan, Susan, what is it? I'm like, Link Helen Joyce, help us. Susan. Oh, thank you. Uh, take a Hilliard, Hilliard. We say yes. Hilliard, but it is Hilliard. I heard her pronounce it for something. So cute. We'll show those in a second. Oh, where are we? Okay. So we showed this one. And that it's one. It's just easier to do it this way. Color 102 rainbow. Yeah. You need something out of that. No, you wouldn't release, it doesn't look like rainbow, but it's a pastel rainbow. Yeah, this look is it. like a subtle <gasps> rainbow. I'll show you guys the picture because I can't even see all the colors in the cone. Perfect for color work. There's a lavender, a rose pink, a citrus orange, lemon yellow, kind of a melon green, like a honeydew, and then like a cornflower blue. So it's a very subtle, soft rainbow instead of the primary color bright rainbow. I love the watercolor aspect of these, that the colors look like they've been kind of brushed over one another to blend together versus it being like the stark stripes that you typically see in a sock yarn. So that was color 102. So, so far we have three colors. All right. Oops. Trying to put them in order. This one's perfect for the season. Ooh, pumpkin this spice. This is, yes, orange, umber, <laughs> and taupe. That is definitely a pumpkin spice. So here you can see it in the cone with that softer, it's like the toned down version of Don't Shoot Me Orange because it's in that level of yellow-orange 
then you have kind of the more olivey taupes into the espressos which I will then show you guys the knitted up socks so you can see how that goes from light to dark there's even a more pumpkiny orange in there a rust so pretty let's see if Susan you've got some ideas for us yet and these are a little bit more yardage than most sock yarn skeins they are 458 yards so you get a little extra wiggle room in your it's sock just, knitting. It was doing the same thing. Remember how the links don't show? See, I was like, they updated something. Not dropping anything. They're all here. So we're going to show you guys some really fun projects that you can do. Hold on, I like to upload yeah. a bunch of them. I'm like, they updated something and they need to put it back. No, really, it's not working. Sorry, we're late, you guys. But again, <laughs> our iPhones did not um, work. Facebook doesn't like Apple right now for some reason. No idea why. Oh, there we go. My favorite one. Okay, here we go. Some patterns. Yayoi's dream. That must be grandma in another language. Oh, it's a Japanese illustration. Oh, interesting. Oh, Marin's in it. That's the gal that mm -hmm. did the butterfly shawl. So pretty. I love her patterns because they're thorough. Mm -hmm. They leave she leaves nothing to guess at. That would be beautiful in this yarn. With a coordinating solid, perfect. Really would pop out. I love that one. If you need beanies, now's the time to get started. I love fingering weight beanies because they're uh, easy to do and very, very warm on your head. It ends up being double insulated. This is the Always Hat by Jared Flood. You can see over your ears, it's going to be four thick, four layers thick, which is really nice. Which I know sounds like a lot, but remember it's sock yarn. Mm -hmm. So it's actually a really nice thickness and the air pockets between the layers actually make it warmer than if you were to do a hat out of a heavier yarn. Top down. So you start oh, at a uh, small, which is kind of a pain at the beginning, but it's it fine. Is. That could be the inside of it. Top down, increase out, tube, 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 then you decrease. And then turn it inside out. So cute. And look at the different sizes. Newborn, baby, child, adult, adult large. It is designed for negative ease. So if you don't like something super tight, you may want to go, you know, into the adult large. I probably would do that. I don't want to smash my hair. I would too, because I get like pressure headaches Me if too. stuff is snug. Look at how cute. So many people. Oh, this is a good picture of how it's done. Oh, it's like how we used to do the hats on the sock, mm -hmm. on, not on the sock machine, on the yeah. big circular machine. Yeah. Super cute. You can do a beanie or a watch cap. Oh, pretty much anything of Amber's oh, is perfect for this yarn. One to two skeins. Here's what it looks like in a solid. Her new skull shawl mm -hmm. with the pumpkin spice one. Gorgeous. Um, Roxanne's doing that. I said people need to crochet little tiny roses to put on the... Uh, oh, make them sugar skulls. Mm -hmm. Okay, you have to do yours in the rainbow. Yeah. Mm hmm I have two sweaters. In your spare time. Right. I was like, You can oh, fit oh. one more project in your Portugal bag. I'm only bringing one, so I am debating. <laughs> I do I do, I really need to bring my sweater. Yeah, your, um. My test knit. Test knit. Mm-hmm. This is, if you're, I love knitting socks. This is really fun. You can see the center. This is my type of sock. The design is just on the top of your foot. So I have what sensitive feet. So mm -hmm. if it's not a tight fit, it kind of gives me the heebie-jeebies. <laughs> Isn't it funny as you get older, you're like, yeah, I don't like the way that feels. And the bottoms aren't sensitive, it's the tops. Mine's more like if, you know how like in commercial socks, they have a seam in the toe. If that oh, yeah. seam is at the wrong spot, 
it drives me batty. That's funny. I like my hand knit socks because there's no seam. Here is a beautiful shawl. This is called Trail in Blaze. And look at, you know you're starting here and then you end up having these zigzags that go across. Using a yarn that self stripes will give you a totally different look. Let me see if anyone has done it. I think the zigzags will show even oh, better in the slower color Similar change. to this. Like that one's even busier than this mm -hmm. yarn. Because it's a faster change. Let's see if we can find someone else. This is the same designer as that Stargazer shawl I did. Her patterns are very well written and fun to do. Oh, okay. Here's one. It's more similar to this. I love it. Trail and Blaze. A Glossio by Martina Bem. I've seen her in real life. She's so nice. This is the designer Strickvich. I love her stuff. Mm -hmm. I've got several of her shawls in my queue. We have Sock Camp Picnic. That's a fun little like left twist. twist. Mm -hmm. I like that. It's like a little tiny cable that they're doing. Here's Helen Joyce. You guys know I am in love with this. Everly's had, um, I think, two of these. Here's one kind of in an, oh, shoot, where did it go? Here we go. There's like an ombre. It is so cute for photos. It goes from a zero to three all the way to a 4T. And then she also has bigger um, patterns. This is the other one I've done. This is Muti. I love the top of this one. Mm, I, I missed the baby stage already. All right, we've got other colors. Let's do this beauty. This one is color 105. It is crimson red and navy blue. And there's a red violet. Maybe, sorry, I have to pick it up and see. Um, it looks like there's like an eggplant. It's actually really hard to see all the colors in the skein, but you can see in the picture that there's some purple in there too. Ben says she only knits hand knit socks. I am right in line with you. I don't wear socks often, but they're only hand knit. Look at this fun little project. This is a crochet. That'd be really pretty. This would take one to two. This is kind of a good idea of what you would see it would look like, something like this. That may need to be one of our classes. We've been doing, we have a crochet class today and we've got more coming up, but really fun to try new things. That's pretty, the, the stitch pattern alternating between like a more solid and a more lacy. Mm -hmm. And last but not least in the colors. This is color 106. This is totally for the purple people. It is like charcoal and indigo and violet. Now I'm gonna try. This is, oh boy, that's, lots of people are going to love this one. All right. Yeah, see, purple people, this is your, this is your jam. There's like a plum in there. There's the blue, violet, indigo, all the purples. Um, let me see if I can grab the mouse because since I have Susan's phone she went to tell Susan something because uh, we I didn't get to show you guys the red one there we go there is 105 that is the reds and purples 
So you can see the crimson and then this really pretty burgundy where the red and blue start to mix, then the navy, then the violet, that kind of red violet plum, more of a raspberry to more of a brick red. Lovely. You know, I've, you know, I've noticed that like the UPS and FedEx drivers always wear way too much cologne in the summer. It's just because they don't want to smell like working men. <laughs> or they're single and they want to smell good for all the single women that they go to their place of employment. Um, all That's right, <laughs> I'm going to showcase, thank you, uh, thank you, Cindy, about, someone pointed something out. We're going to showcase, well, gosh, we talked about one of the lemon things the other day, so we're going to do just a quick look at the clothing that we have in stock right now, um, not crazy detailed but because we have a little, need a little bit of a filler. You guys know I'm in love with linen. Um, on my trip, that is literally the only thing that I'm gonna be bringing. So I was able to find the manufacturer for Eileen Fisher at the wholesale show. And we've got some really fun things. And they are in different sizes, most things. Here is one of the really pretty pink dresses. I actually took the dress and I shortened it myself because I like a shorter dress. It's so cute on, so I put mine above my knee, which is more my style. I love that there's pockets on both sides. I like this detail of it coming in, so it's a little more flattering. And one of the things that I love about this line is there is some knit fabric in there, so there's a little bit more room for size variance within the size. And this is called Linen Printed Dress. <laughs> I love it though. All right, next, and these, I, yeah, so these have sizes too. Okay, this is the one, this is, I love this one. This is a linen top. I like the collar on it, the deep V. You can see uh, this is an extra large. I like that the sleeves are sewn. So it's a cuff sleeve that does not unroll. The linen is very nice on it. It's so lightweight. Mm -hmm. This is, okay, they say hand wash, cold water. I don't, I throw mine in the washer, I throw it in the dryer. These are made in the United States, actually in a, a plant in Los Angeles, who, like I said, does do the Eileen Fisher. Here's the other thing I like, high-low. It's a high-low top. Kind of a gray denim blue. Mm -hmm. I'm waiting on one of the things, the pants that I was so excited about, they have not come in yet. Uh, here's another thing, I fantastic for over sundresses. This is a linen, almost like a little bomber jacket. It does have a cording at the bottom to kind of pull it in a little bit if you want it a little bit more fitted. It's got the ribbed neckline with a zipper. Again, um, just really, really soft. I don't know if there's, these are actually pockets. I think they're just little- They're faux pockets. Pocket appliques. Oh, look at how cute this is. Oversized, white. It's going to go with everything. A little bit of ribbing, like I said, at the cuffs, at the neckline. And even though it's wide, you have the ability to use the drawstring and pull it in a little bit more. And these are sized. Okay, another thing. This is, I'm sure this is extra large because I always make sure that we can buy all sizes. This is a linen top. I love the raw edge at the sides because it ends up fraying and it stops at this line, only on the sleeves. The neckline is folded over with a narrow hem. 
it does have my favorite slit sides. And this is again 100% linen. Throw it in the washer, in my opinion, throw it in the dryer. You guys will see all the linen I wear. I don't iron it. I literally throw it in the washer, throw it in the dryer. Because if it can't do that, I don't want it. Mm -hmm. yep. And linen can do it, it's just people don't know. Then we got, now these are coming with me to Europe. I love the little um, super stretchy short. It does have pockets. It's um, a bag, a paper bag. That's what Loren calls it. Paper bag, elastic waist. I'm not gonna put the ribbon on it because I don't want it. Really cute, again, cuffed at the bottom, really big pockets. I think these might be one size, but honestly, um, Kathy got them. They are, they stretch really big or really small. They're just comfortable shorts. We have them in this beautiful taupe and then the blue. And it is a little um, like more of a green blue in real life than it is coming up on the screen. But you can see really how cute a little tank top with this over it. That'd be really cute. Mm -hmm. Or you could do uh, this top because it's more of a blue. Look at how cute that is. All right, so that's just some of the linen we brought into the store. Thank goodness for Karen. We got a new, a new display. display. So we're gonna talk about what we are wearing. I am wearing my Fly Away Lotus cowl. Very pretty, it is knit out of um, Rios. This is one skein of Rios. Um, for the small and the medium, two skeins will do the large, knit on a size nine needle. And then I'll, I'll have Susan come out, but I'm gonna grab my sweater that I was wearing. This is one of the original ones that. It's an original one? It's an original one for me. <laughs> so Fly Away Lotus is done in worsted weight yarn on size nine needles, or the size that gives you gauge. I don't gauge cowls. Uh, but this was done with one skein of, I think this is Rios in Pearl, I think. Could be wrong on the color name, but it's definitely Rios. This was a dream of color. Yeah, that was one of the, like, pop-up clubs. Mm -hmm. That we still get, but this one knit this for me a long time ago. He probably doesn't realize I still have it. But look at how pretty it is. And it perfectly goes. This just goes to show you, you guys, hand dyed look different, but you can see what he did. The darker ones are the sleeves, the lighter ones the body. It's a little bit of a crop top, but look how cute it looks with this, my dress. Don't mind the lump, that's the microphone. Yeah. She doesn't somewhere. have a growth. Somewhere it is. <laughs> and you can pin it. You can use our little pins that we just did yesterday. But this is it. I don't have a name for it because he knit it for me. All right, I'm going to show you guys what Anna is wearing. And then Susan really will be out in just a minute. What'd you say? It's getting really hot just for okay. morning. <laughs> um, this is my poncho, Get a Little Warm. It's basically a rectangle with a sawtooth edge that has this little mesh lace pattern. And then you fold it kind of and sew the side is it there-ish right here yeah so you fold it and sew this end to the side so you get this like triangle in the front straight across the back or vice versa you can flip it around you can put the point across your shoulder which I like to do that too mm -hmm. gives it a totally different look it seems to be clinging to my shirt today <laughs> So you can do it off to the side, flip it around the other way, makes it very versatile. All right. A little fast who's fun you had because it's not purple. Right. <laughs> it doesn't have the case on. No. Nah. This one is For the Love of Rainbows, which was the awesome for today's yarn, which I didn't know we were doing, so it worked out. 
So the white is a separate skein, the rest of it is an ombre. Very fun, easy. We might have an on-demand for this one, I'm not sure. I don't know. I don't know. We have so many on-demand classes right now. Yeah, I'm like, I don't remember this one, but okay, that doesn't 100% mean anything. Just easy garter, some color changes, yarn over, knit two together, and probably so perfect. yarn. Perfect for the yarn it, we just showed you. Awesome. Mm -hmm. With so a solid. That other one over there. Mm -hmm. So I'll show you guys real quick if you have not seen our on demand classes. You go to classes, you click on demand, and you here you are. The internet to cooperate. <laughs> We currently have 40 on-demand classes. Here are all the pictures. Cloud slippers, we just did that one. Who taught this one? Oh, it must have been um, Jess. Yeah, I think so. Lots of really fun. Look, flyaway lotus, that's what I wore today. Lots camera, you of good ones. I love this. This one was a fun one. That one's fun. Wiggling bandana. And so this, the cost of this class, this is a one hour class, $14.99. It is not live, but you get links to the recording of it. And it is easily, we sell a ton of these classes. It is very nice to be able to watch it at your leisure. We have machine knitting ones, we have crochet, you name it, we've got it. I wonder, um, we're always adding more. I've got ideas. All right, we are gonna say goodbye. We have a busy day. We've got, I think I'm teaching back to back to back. And then tomorrow is our big event. So I can't wait to see everyone. Um, we're gonna do it so that I can actually read the comments over here and so that we can see what everyone's saying. We're really looking forward to it and showcasing Natique for, I think they said there's 500 participants right now. So super exciting for us. We will see everyone soon. Have an amazing day. Bye-bye.